Hey friends, welcome back to Type 1 with Carly. As you can see, I found a camera with a charger that works. So, I'm really excited about that. Found it this morning, and I figured the first thing I should do is make a video for you guys. All right, without further ado, I'm gonna give you guys a video today about how to change your insertion sites and get your insulin pump ready um, every time you change your insertion site. I do believe Animus recommends doing this every three days. I'm not too sure about other companies, although I like to do it every four days. Um, so I'm gonna teach you guys the steps in doing this. If there's anything you feel like I've forgotten or you like to do that's a little bit different from me, uh, definitely leave a comment below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment if you enjoy this video. Also, if you guys would like to see what I do in my everyday life, um, given that I don't put out videos all that often, uh, feel free to follow my Instagram account. I'll leave a link below, and I think you'll also see my name up on the side. Okay, so just a list of some things you're gonna need for this video. Um, you're gonna need your insertion site. So mine's just this basic um, automatic dispenser, so it pushes the needle in for you. Um, I do believe you can also get manual ones with Animus. And this is the automatic, so it automatically pushes the needle and stuff in for you. You're also going to need your cartridge. So mine's just this basic one, and it comes in a package like this. You are going to need insulin. So I use the Novo Rapid, and that's what I'm going to be using in this video today. And if you have one, just to help save the environment, I have these awesome little kind of mini pliers that I use to pull the needle out of my insertion site. That way I can just uh, recycle the rest of the plastic. Okay, so one of the first things you're going to want to do is get your cartridge filled. So that was this one here. All you're going to do is just open up the package. There's going to be a few different pieces that come out. So you're going to have this main part here just look like this. This is what's going to be storing the insulin. And you're going to have the needle that you're going to use to pull the insulin out of the uh, insulin right container. Okay, so what you're going to do next is you're going to take that uh, needle part and you're going to put it on top. This is what's going to take the insulin out of the insulin part here and then you're gonna put this nifty little blue thing on the bottom and that's just gonna pop into place you should hear a little click but one more time just so you guys can hear it pop perfect and then you're just gonna push it about five or six times just to make sure that it's doesn't get stuck when you go to put the or draw the insulin out Perfect. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw the amount of air you want to put into your insulin cartridge and then you're going to be pushing that into it. So for me, I just like to take as many units as I possibly can because sometimes I'm bad and I don't change it for like four days. Cool. So I'm going to bring mine down to the 2.0 line and I'm going to match up the bottom there. It's kind of hard to tell, but work. do what works for you. Okay, so next I'm going to push that air that I just drew into my insulin cartridge. So you can do it on either way you want. Just go like this, and then I'm going to push the air in. Okay, for this next part you want to make sure that you invert the insulin part completely upside down. That way you can avoid getting any air bubbles. So I'm going to flip it like this. I'm going to pull out that amount of insulin that's equal to the amount of air I just pushed into it. So all you have to do is just pull. Be careful you're getting rid of the air bubbles as you go down. I've never had a time where I haven't had an air bubble, so I just like to give it a couple flicks. Sometimes they're really stubborn, other days you don't really have much of a problem. So today wasn't too bad. So I'm just going to pull it out. We're done with this part for now, and we're going to put the top back on the needle. It is a pretty long needle, as you can see, so be careful not to stab yourself with it. And then we're just going to take this and put it off to the side for right now. Okay, so don't mind my stomach, guys. Sorry. But for this next part, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking off our old insertion site. So all I'm going to do is unhook this pink part here, and then I'm going to take off the previous insertion site that had been there. 
super easy, just like peeling off a band-aid. It's never hurt me before, but depends on what your pain tolerance is like. It really shouldn't hurt though. I'm going to put this in my sharp spot. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my old insertion stuff. So you'll see that it's still attached like such. I want to make sure that this is out and then the cartridge that has the insulin inside is taken out as well. So pretty easy. All you got to do is just twist and pull. So what I'm going to do, make sure I keep this black thing. Don't want to throw that out. It's necessary for the next time. I'm going to twist this part off here. Sorry guys. Pull it off and take my black part off. Boop. Super easy. And this part, as well as your old cartridge, are going to be going in your sharps box. Alright, next thing we're going to do is we're going to rewind our pump. So, for my One Touch Animus Ping, all I have to do is I press the OK button, the menu button, and then I'm going to go down to Prime Rewind. And I'm going to go up to Rewind. Press OK. Go Rewind. Press OK one more time and it's going to rewind it back so I can put my new cartridge in next. So this will take a couple of seconds. Okay, so while your insulin pump is rewinding, you can go ahead and grab your insertion site, your new one. So that was the pink one like this. First thing I do is I take off this pink part here, just a little piece of plastic, and I just pull, and then take off the surrounding plastic like such. Next thing I do is I take off this white piece on the bottom here, there's a little tab right on the side, if you can see. All you have to do is just pull it off. Super easy. Boom. And then you'll see the main part. So it should look like this. Next thing I do is I take the top part off. There's a little tab on the side. I don't know if you guys can see it coming off there. Use that just to pull off the top. And now you've exposed the inside of your insertion site. So this next part, um, you just have to be a little bit careful that you don't pull the whole insertion site out. So you need to dishook the plastic part from the circle around it. So I just pull and then slowly take it out. You know it's done when obviously nothing else comes out. Next thing I do is I take off this blue little needle part. As you can see, that's the needle that's going to be pushing your insertion site into you. Next you're going to do is take off the white part. Unwrap it. Be careful not to pull too hard because you don't want the white sticky stuff to come off. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load it. So there's going to be these kind of white hooks right here. I'm going to take those and I'm going to grab them and pull them up. While you do that, you want to make sure you're holding on to these ribbed sides here and not the indent side. Because if you're holding on to those and you press them, you're going to shoot the insertion site down. So all I have to do is go like this and I've loaded it. As you can see, the white part is up and it's elevated in comparison to the rest of it. Sorry about my poorly defined abs there. Um, so I had my insertion site on this side before, so now I'm going to put it onto this one. You want to make sure you're switching it up every time you change them, just so you don't get scar tissue building up. Um, so I'm going to line it up like this. I like to have this part dangling down. Um, that way it's moving in the direction to where my insulin pump's going to hook on. It's telling me it's ready. Alright, so now I'm going to press those two indent sides and it should just pop in. Um, sometimes this hurts, most of the time it doesn't. It's really dependent on the day. So here we go, you should hear a nice pop. Awesome. It's now on my stomach. That didn't hurt at all. What I like to do next is I like to get rid of that little needle there. And I throw that in my sharps box, and then I can just recycle the rest of the plastic. So I use my little pliers, take it, just be careful you don't break it so it doesn't fly across the room. I've had that happen to me many times. And I just pull it out. And there it is, I'm going to put that in my sharps box. Okay, so once this part is done, I'm just going to take the lid, put this back on, and it's ready to go in recycling. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be unhooking the pink part from my insertion site. Just like that, all you have to do is pull gently, and then I have my main tubing. I'm going to take my cartridge, pull off the top here, you should see a nice exposed here. You want to make sure that you're not tipping it, because your insulin will fall out. And then I'm going to take off the blue part here, you want to make sure you're not pushing or pulling, because it'll push the insulin out. I'm take my black tip, I'm going to set them up, and I'm going to weave this part through the front part of my black tip. I'm going to go through, 
and then I'm going to hook this on to my cartridge. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my insulin pump, just turn it around for the sake of this. I'm going to be putting it into the cartridge part. Just like that, weave that black part back, turn it, ta-da, it's on. So now I'm going to go to my menu. It's telling me it wants me to hook it back up. Going to go back to the primary wind. Going to go up to load cart, press OK, and then press continue. This should take a little bit, depending on how much time or how much insulin you put into your cartridge. Now I'm going to prime it. So you're going to press continue, and then I'm going to press OK one more time. But you want to make sure that your cartridge or your uh, pink part's facing up, and you want to hold the OK button down while you prime until you see insulin coming out the top. So here it goes. All right, so now it is primed. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back into my insertion site. And in the booklet, it says put 0.3 units in um, to fill your cannula. So 0.3, and then I'm just going to press OK. OK. Perfect. We have now primed our insulin pump, and you are ready to go. Well, just a side note, I know everyone likes to do their stuff a little bit differently. They might have a different order or they might just have a different way they do things all together. And it should all end up doing the same thing, if hopefully properly. So I hope this video has helped you guys. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments section below. I know these videos saved my butt when I first started doing or going on my insulin pump. So I hope I can be a little helpful for other people who are just starting. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Cheers.